guys <laughs> um today i'm gonna be starting the jump rope challenge and so basically i'll be showing you my measurements and um the goal of this is to ensure that lockdown doesn't drag me down drag me down you understand i'm trying to rise above the ashes um health wise just in general because you know we neglect ourselves because of this so i've decided to join the jump rope challenge and i'll be doing this for seven days and um that entails me jumping um for incremental rates of skipping so today i'll be starting with 400 skips and then it'll go up and up and up until a thousand that'll be for the last day and then i'll measure myself again and see if there are any major differences or differences at all i'm in the first place so yeah so first i'm gonna measure myself right i'm measuring myself right so right now i'm at 28.5 inches and i don't necessarily have a goal but i just wanted to go down and i want to see apparently um running running for 45 minutes is equivalent to you skipping for 10 minutes so yeah i think skipping is the way to go it's gonna take over our lives it's definitely gonna take over mine and yeah that's that's my waist so and then i'm gonna show you what i look like and just to show you that i'm not breathing in <sighs> okay this is what i look like my true form It's gonna be gone. I'm gonna kick it out. I'm gonna get rid of it. And yeah, and now I'm gonna start and we're skipping 400. And I'm gonna. watching me it's weird <sighs> I shouldn't have done this Yo, my skin is dry See what I did there? <laughs> oh, this is me trying to figure out if I believe in myself enough to go through with it. I will. <laughs> Let's go. somewhere that when you're done doing some sort of strenuous activity it's not a good idea to <clears throat> to crouch down on your knees because apparently you're restricting your lung capacity for you to receive um, oxygen and for your heart rate and breathing to eventually um, dwindle so <clears throat> anyway that was me skipping honestly i enjoyed skipping i actually do enjoy skipping because i feel like there's a fun element to it as much as it's hard work it's not like running because running is like i don't know it's like you're not playing it's a <laughs> i prefer skipping definitely um than jogging <sighs> i'm 
gonna be doing this for six more days. God be with me. And yeah, I'll be vlogging those days every single day. Another day. Um, and today I'll be doing 500 skips. I'm wearing a jacket today as you can see because it's a bit chilly. Like I said, there's not as much sun. 500 steps. Let's go. Usually, um, I would do this with the music playing in the background, but I don't have that luxury today. Um, so I'll just listen to the birds, <laughs> the cars going by. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's begin. They want to stop me, but they can't stop me now. They can't drag me down. I'm a survivor. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop. I'm a push harder. I'm a survivor. That's just a little rendition for you haters out there that are wishing me not to continue. Because I will. You know how many times you beat me with this kick mode? Because I know it's you. It's not me. I can't beat myself. I can't. <laughs> Me like I should. Okay. Wow. Oh. That wasn't even painful. That's all you have. It wasn't even painful. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, including this. I did my 500 for the day, and now I'm going to take a shower. I did my 500 for the day, now I'm going to take a shower and thank the Lord for His grace and mercy. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, yeah I'm bloated majority of the time and I know this is TMI but I have a lot of bowel movements now which is good it means because it makes sense I'm eating I should also be releasing you know if there's input there should be output you understand it's quick maths <laughs> but um, the, the, this is just the downfall as you can see I'm bloated already and it's the morning so I try to, when I feel bad about it, I have a very really negative outlook and just approach to how I viewed things. And I'm learning to get rid of that mentality because that is essentially is at the core of my progress or my lack thereof. So by incorporating more positivity and because it all starts in the mind, you know, what you say <laughs> started here. This is where you planted the seed. I'm bloated because I've changed my eating patterns and that's okay. And I'm bloated for a good reason. Not because I'm sick. Not because uh, I'm eating too much dairy, which since I'm lactose intolerant, obviously me bloating is my body's reaction of showing me that I should stop. The red light is just, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stop sign. This is not a stop sign. This is just a, an indication of change sign. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I've just been negative for so long 
like obviously people's comments are about your body and just social media and like beauty standards all those things obviously all those things were played a role but i was allowing them to to some extent um or at least i was allowing them to take too much control over my life and how i perceive myself and my self-image and i'm not i'm kick it out I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna show you what I eat. Now that it's breakfast time, I will be making myself a smoothie and my makeshift tuna sandwich that I told you about. I'll be using some chickpeas, obviously, some parsley, and then an overexposed avocado. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. I just have to remove the, the top. Lettuce, a bell pepper that's been cut already, and half a tomato. That just needs to rinse up that too. All rinsed and ready to go. Usually I've also had cucumber, but I don't have any, so um, this will do though. And just before I start chopping up everything, I like to make my tea so that it can cool down and I can sip it while I toast my bread on the stove. And then for the smoothie, I'll be using some mint, an orange, frozen banana to make it nice and thick, <laughs> and some pineapple that I froze as well, and frozen strawberries, and then some water to make it easier to blend up, and some mint. Here I have a mortar and a pestle that I'll be using to grind up the chickpeas and the onion and the, and the um, parsley just to bring out the flavors more and I just think it makes the chickpeas have a really lovely texture because I don't want to use a fork because it'll it won't match them up the way I want to but I don't want to match them up too much so anyway so yeah so in here I have my onion small piece of onion that I'll be using that I'm just gonna cut up can you see oh, I can see so that it's easier to, to um, grind up in the water. And then I'll be putting in my chickpeas. This is about a quarter can of chickpeas left over um, that I have in here. And then I'm gonna that's the texture we're looking for. See, I don't know if you can, if you can see. It's not too fine, but also not too matte. And then I'll be putting this back into the container because I want to grind up my spices. And the spices that I'll be using are black pepper cloves and I don't know what the other spices, honestly. I just know they're cloves. <laughs> and then after doing that, I'll also be chopping up some of my fish shrimp that I told you about. It tastes really much like fish. Hold on. This is what I'm talking about. They really taste like fish, and I think this takes it to the next level. If you don't want to use um, processed things, you can also just use um, seaweed, but I don't have that, so I'm going to use this instead because it does really taste like fish. I don't know what they put in here, but... Whew, 
And I really liked fish when I used to eat it. I still like it. So yeah, I'll be warming this in the microwave for a few seconds. I'm only going to be taking two pieces. Because it's just for the flavor, really. For the fishy flavor. It tastes a lot like fish now. I don't know if they put like seaweed or something that has like a fishy, very pungent, fishy, fishy <laughs> smell. Mm -hmm. So if you're like me and you don't really... Mm -hmm. And if you're like me and you really like fish, this is for you. This is the one. You heard it from her. She doesn't like it because of how much fish there is. For a few seconds. What I'm using. <laughs> To grind up um, for the spice for the flavor I'm using these really small ones the one big black one I don't know what they're called because it doesn't say it just says blend of all spices anyway so it's the pickle spices I'm using one big black one and then a few of the white ones and a few of the black ones as well I don't want the babies or the chili um, so yeah This is how much that is in there. It's kind of a lot actually, but you know, I don't mind. It's the flavor that you want here. Adding that in here. Adding in our mayo, just a little bit. We won't be adding in a little bit of teaspoon. We're adding in a teaspoon of that because remember we're still adding our a white sauce that we made. Cauliflower and mushrooms and soy milk and garlic and onion saute with some rosemary and herb spices and yeah and that's pretty much what I put in here. Oh and, and a carrot that I also saute because I was trying to make it orange but it didn't work. So it's this colour instead. So but it's fine, I know that it's good for me. There's cauliflower, there's mushrooms, yeah, it's also delicious. So yeah, I'll be adding in that as well. This I'll be adding two teaspoons. Now I'm going to be adding in some of this to make it chili for a punch. These are really yummy. They're pickled jalapenos that were in a tin that we put in here. They're preserved. Yeah. And it's homemade. <laughs> homemade, yes. It's homemade. It's homemade, yes. Because we, we, like, we like to do things ourselves. This is how much I use. I this is like about a teaspoon. Just to show you. Yeah. And I'll be cutting that up as well. This is it now that I've mixed it up. As you can see, my makeshift tuna. And then I have to toast my bread, which I will do in a second. Just waiting for my sister to get out of So now I'm going to toast my bread, my sinkwa. The sinkwa. Okay, this is the bread I'm going to use, just basic brown bread. Toast two slices. You can put butter if you want, but I'm not going to put because it's a long journey to the fridge. That's what, we don't have to 
don't have a toaster at home. Hopefully my friends will see this and they'll feel bad. We don't have a toaster at home. So we use this pan to toast. This pan. That thing you see? Yeah, that pan. That pan. And then I toast the slices one by one. And while I toast, I can be sipping my tea. In the meantime, I'm going to cut up my veggies that I'll be using for my sandwich. I'm using a tomato, but I'll be using all of it. So I'm just going to cut up. I really like tomato, so. Okay. Frozen whole strawberries are very sour, so one slice. I'm <laughs> gonna put this in for some flavor play. There's my half a cup. It's just like this because it's frozen, so and a cup of water to help cool things. And close. Usually I'd add spinach, but we don't have any today, so yeah, at least I put in a little bit of lettuce though. Then, I don't know who was involved in the making of this, but God is always watching. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't know. <laughs> but why would you use a lemon though? The grapefruit is even worse. Do you know how much acid is in that thing? Lemon too. Anywho, just sipping on my tea. Oh yes, and that, my friends. It's breakfast. My cup of tea, my lovely cup of tea, my smoothie, and my sandwich. Anyway, I'm gonna be enjoying this for the next 30 minutes or so. I'm lying, I'll probably be for the next 10 minutes. And then, yeah. And my smoothie will help to fill me up. Usually I have this and a fruit, but since there's so many different types of fruits in here, it's great because I'm getting all my different types of vitamins and minerals and just the good things and the great reason why I like to drink smoothies um, when I make them myself because I just I'm able to combine a whole bunch of medicinal lovely properties or whatever okay and that's and that's for me and um, yeah and now I'm eating I'm just gonna show you that I'm actually eating And this is why I always cut up my sandwiches in fours because it's just easier to hold. This. Mm. Mm.
as a palate cleanser. My mom got us each um, cups of our own, so we can stop using hers, and I really appreciate it. And I drink a lot of these, so this came in. See, gifts that actually make sense. Gifts that you're gonna use are the ones. Practical gifts. Flavor, flavor. 